Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also add a formula field into your report, and this is probably the most common reason at first to use the formula workshop window. Formula fields are simply fields that are placed into your report that calculate a value determined by the formula which you set. You can either create them through the formula workshop window or directly through the field explorer pane. If you have already launched the formula workshop window, you can create a new formula field by clicking the small drop down arrow that appears next to the new button within the toolbar at the top of the window and then clicking the formula command. You could also simply right click on the formula fields folder in the pane at the left side of the window and then choose the new command from the pop-up menu which appears. Now if you have the Field Explorer pane open and want to use that to create the new formula field, you can do so by simply clicking on the formula fields entry within the Field Explorer pane and then clicking the new button in the toolbar at the top of the pane. Alternately, you could right click on the formula field entry and then choose the new command from the pop-up menu that appears. Whichever way you begin, you will then see the formula name dialog box appear. Type the name that you want to give to the formula field into the name text box and then click the OK button to continue. Next you will view the formula editor panes within the formula workshop window. The formula that you create will be displayed within the formula text window area in the formula editor. Now you create the desired formula using the available fields, functions, and operators listed in the three panes above the formula text window. Note that you can change which syntax you would prefer to use from the syntax drop-down at the right side of the Expressions Editor toolbar. By default, it displays the more commonly used Crystal Syntax choice, but you can select the basic syntax if you prefer. Selecting the basic syntax option places the required formula equals variable into the formula text window. All basic syntax formulas must begin with that variable. You can then finish editing the formula as needed within the formula text window. Now you can click the check button that appears in the Expressions Editor toolbar to check the syntax of the formula that you have created within the formula text window. If there is an error with the formula, it will be indicated by a message box that appears. You can then correct the formula before saving it. Once the syntax is correctly entered for the desired formula, you can then click the save button to save your changes. If you want to save the formula's changes and also close the formula workshop window, you can instead click the Save and Close button. Once the report formula field has been created, it will appear as any other field within the Field Explorer pane at the right side of the window. You can then add it to the report in the design view, just as you would add any other database field or special field. Once again, be aware of the placement of the formula field within the sections of the report, as its placement can drastically impact its displayed value. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.